Alexius, good news, I hope. Safe and sound. Well done. And now the shroud is yours. You don't want it? After all that? I gained something more valuable today. For your troubles, Mistheus. If I knew any better, I'd think you were testing me. Perhaps. You did well, Mistyus. Tell me, how do you feel about killing a general in Megaris? Do this for me and earn double what you earned today. Are you up to the task? It would take you far away from Kefalonia. So far away you might never return. I'm not an assassin. There's a first time for everything. What do you say? Who is this general? They call him the Wolf. He do something to offend you? Yes, he's costing me Drachmi. He's not good for business. Why me? Because no one knows who you are. You're invisible. Anything I should know about Megaris? Only that it's the most valuable land in the Greek world. From a military perspective, of course. Unfortunately for Megarians, it has two very powerful neighbors who just can't seem to play nice. In the tug of war between Corinth and Athens, Megaris is their own. I accept. Splendid. You'll need a boat. You have one, don't you? If I had a boat, we wouldn't be having this conversation. A shame. It's too far of a swim, I'm afraid. Even for you. I'll find one. Good. I hope it's sturdy. And why is that? The seas are much more dangerous, I'm afraid. War is coming, and the wolf is on the wrong side. War? With who? The entire Greek world is at each other's throats. What rock have you been hiding under exactly? Kefalonia. And how do I know you're on the right side? Because I'm the one paying you. You won't be disappointed. When your job in Megaris is done, come find me at Pilgrim's Landing in Fokis. Hmm. I need a boat. I should go see the shipbuilder. It's a fine ship, Telemenes. Alexios! She is that. Ready to ride the waves for the right captain and the right price. What will it take for you to part with her? <laughs> Couldn't let her go for less than 100,000. 100,000? Who has that much? Someone who's serious about buying a ship. You think craftsmanship like this is given away? What if I told you I had obsidian to trade? I tell you I still need 100,000 drachmi. Besides, even if I took your obsidian, a ship this size needs an army to sail it. This is Kefalonia. I could always find someone down on their luck and willing to work for next to nothing to get off this island. The seas are treacherous now. Well, more than usual. It would be suicide. You're not being very helpful, Telemenes. Not sure if this helps. But rumor has it the Cyclops is coming for you and Marcos. Rumors mean nothing. Don't believe everything you hear. Rumor also has it his ship is docked in Kleptus Bay. His ship, you say? I'll have to pay Kleptus Bay a visit. Be careful. That one-eyed brute has a nasty temper. So I can take his ship. <laughs> 
and deal with the Cyclops at the same time. Two birds, one stone. Come on. There's a fright girl back in here. Hey, we got things going to Cyclops. Time to have a little chat. That's my witness, I swear! Which one? What difference does it make? <laughs> all of them, I swear, all of them! I have never heard so much fucking God talk from one man in all my days. Let him go. No one on this island is allowed to say that word! Did he say Cyclops? Did it hurt your feelings? Don't like it when people call me that! Um, oh, I didn't. I... But you're so fat. I mean, big, strong. You really do only have one eye. Oh, my eye. Give it to me. Give it to me, and I won't kill Marcos for having you steal it! Give it to me! You want it? Get it. I 
shouldn't delay here any further. Even rats like these have friends on Kefalonia. By Zeus, these Kefalonian bandits are no joke! This used to be a nice village, but now it's just a nest of anarchy and crime. This won't take long! Must have burned through! Shit! can't thank you enough. After spending most of my life at sea, it would have been absolutely shameful to drown in a pot. Ah, where are my manners? I am Varnavas, captain of the Adrestia. Well, Varnavas, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Alexios, Mystios by trade. <laughs> oh, but you're much more than that, I'm sure. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. You called, and I answered. Many claim to have blood of the gods in their veins. You're the first, I actually believe. Where do you come from? Everywhere, nowhere. The Adrestia is my home. But I was born in an olive grove in Mykonos. I haven't stepped foot there since I left for the military. So you're a soldier? I was. My brothers and I were captains in the Athenian fleet. Until one night during a siege, Poseidon's fury destroyed our ships. That was the night I saw it. It? What did you see? The Sea God commands more than just the winds and the waves when he truly unleashes his temper. I saw his beast, his murderous pet. Few believe me, but this dead eye is a permanent reminder. Punishment for looking on Poseidon's forbidden creature and living to tell the tale. So why were those men attacking you? Oh, you know the people here. No offense. I tell them a tale of my last voyage, and the next thing I know, they're acting like a bunch of savages. What tale could you tell that would make them so angry? My last voyage, we found a man floating alone on a raft. Before he passed, he told us a tale to make your blood run cold. Something about a horrifying creature, ugly beyond description. I mentioned the words, one-eyed monster. Next thing I know, I'm drowning in a clay pot. Yes, the Cyclops tends to take that personally. So you have a ship? Of course. Gods forbid I'd end up stuck in this place. Where is it now? Thanks to you, it's still in Sami Harbor, where I left it. Seeing as I saved your ship and your life, I'd say you owe me. Mind of a Mystios. You know who you remind me of? Me! <laughs> a much younger me, of course, before I found my true purpose and lost my eye. You're changing the subject. Ah, yes. My apologies. You're right. I owe you my life. What could humble Varnavas do for the mighty Alexios? I need the ship and the crew. <laughs> of course you do! So, that's a yes? My ship, my crew, and my services are yours. You truly aren't from around here. Ha <laughs> ha! Gods, no! And I thank them for that! Come now and see the Adrestia!
Κύριε Πολίτε, έχω με We are ready when you are, Captain. Wait! Wait for me, Alexios. I'm all packed and everything. You're coming, are you? If you're going, I'm going. Kefalonia is the only place you've ever known. You'd leave your home. I would if it meant staying with you. You can't go where I'm going. I need to be alone. Who's going to keep you company? I'll be fine. If I can't come, then take Hara. Hara? My pet eagle. She's my friend. Mater gave her to me. But she'll be your friend now. And it'll be like I'm there with you. You know, to remind you of me. Thanks, Phoebe. But you have to promise we'll see each other again. I promise. You haven't seen the last of me. Just stay out of trouble until then. I will. Don't worry. Okay, you can leave now. Alexios! Leaving Kefalonia without saying goodbye to your dear Marcos? Tell me it isn't true. Well, you're here now, so it won't be true. Goodbye, Marcos. All these years as a dynamic duo! I'll never replace you! Well, I may need another assistant someday, but it won't be easy. Come now, give me a hug. <sighs> All right, come here. Yes, bring it in. Oh, will I ever miss you, Alexios? Thanks, Marcos. I'll miss you too. And what does the future hold for you? Wine, of course. Though you never know when the vines will wither. I'm always ready for another adventure. Speaking of adventure, I have a task for you, dear Phoebe. An adventure? Yes! Already following in your footsteps, isn't she, my friend? Ready to set sail? Prepare to cast off. It's time to leave. Good! The tides wait for neither man nor woman. Time to go. So, what course do we set? Where in this big, beautiful world does the mighty Alexios want to go? Megaris. <laughs> Megaris? But we'll be sailing into war. I got a contract for some general's head. Whose head? They call him the Wolf. The Wolf? Who wants Nikolaos of Sparta dead? Nikolaos of Sparta? <laughs> the Oracle has spoken! <laughs> to prevent Sparta's fall, the child must fall first. You can't let this happen! Please, she'll do no harm. She'll help us. She will lead us. Silence! Nicolas! <laughs> <laughs> 
Get me to Megaris. Now. But I don't understand. Of all the places under Ilios, why risk our necks to go there? The wolf of Sparta is my father. Nothing like a sea breeze. Does the deck always feel like it's moving? <laughs> I've got the perfect opportunity for you to get your sea legs. Oh? What would that be? Well, when the Cyclops was giving me a drumming, his pirates took my cargo. I know their ship, and I know where they're heading. What say we get it back? Sure. It'll be a good opportunity to see how your ship and crew perform. All right there. Let's get moving. Let's see how the sails have held up. Awaiting your orders, Commander. More oars! Sails down! Ship the oars! in the scrap with those pirates. The seas are more dangerous now that Sparta and Athens are at each other's throats. We need new recruits to better our crew. I know where to start. The best archer I know. He'd be a valuable asset. When can we meet him? Well, you're going to have to persuade him. What do you mean? You get him aboard and I'll talk him into it. A little Drachmi should sweeten the deal. So, you want me to knock him out? No, no. Well, maybe just pacify him a little. Then get him to the ship so we can have a little talk. Everything will be fine, I promise you. Speed up! <laughs> 
we grab the salvage, Commander? Sailing speed! That's the island. You'll need to be cautious. It will be crawling with pirates. That's my target. Increase speed! Ready the ship for mooring! Else is around. I still need more crew. didn't go well. I had to kill him. Maybe we won't try for a pirate next time. There'll be plenty more people we can recruit in the future. The gods will provide us with the opportunities we need. Of that, I am sure. We should set a course for Megaris. A long voyage can be relaxing, but we are not really the cruising type. If you want to spice things up a bit, you can always check my log over there. I make a note of anything I hear that could be of interest to a daring captain. Spartans or Athenians, it's bandits and pirates. God's protect us all from mankind. The Athenians have blocked the entrance to the bay! Get 
the oars ready! Nearby! We've spotted some salvage!
See, how the Athenian dog Pericles fears you. He cowers in his Parthenon, surrounded by playwrights and sophists. He dares not face you with honor on the battlefield. He knows you are too strong. He knows Athens' days in Margolis are numbered. And he knows Athens is next! You, you destroyed the Athenian blockade. They were in my way. Sparta owes you thanks. Dichi has blessed you, my friend. You arrived in time to watch my pater achieve a glorious victory. I heard his children died in Sparta many years ago. He adopted me into his household after his previous family failed him. I would never bring dishonor to him. Sometimes things happen in a way that you don't plan or expect. History has a way of remembering things strangely. You talk as if you were there. Maybe I was. Nonsense. You're too young to have witnessed such things. But enough of the past. Let's discuss the future. What is a mercenary doing sailing into a war they aren't being paid to fight in? Tell me why you're really here before I cut you down for wasting my time. I've come to meet the wolf of Sparta. <laughs> you cannot simply meet with Nikolaos. He has command of the entire Spartan army. If you truly came all this way to meet him, you might be disappointed. Are you sure you're in charge here? You don't strike me as a typical Spartan. Perhaps it's best if I just talk with Nikolaos. A sense of humor is not a trait I see being useful for a Celso. If you're here to earn drachmi, though, I could make use of a capable mercenary. The fleet might be destroyed, but Megaris is firmly in Athenian control. We need to weaken their position if we are to take to the field and drive them back to Athens. Your father, who is he exactly? Nikolaos, the wolf of Sparta. He was impressed with my skill when I was a boy and took me under his wing. He trained me himself and eventually adopted me into his house. He is my father and mentor. I live to make him proud. Surely you've heard of him. Just rumors, really. I doubt they do him justice. He is a great warrior, and a greater general. I would follow him to the gates of the underworld. How goes the war effort? The Athenian blockade was a desperate attempt to stop our advance through Megaris. Now we can prepare to drive them from this region once and for all. Our forward scouts are identifying key targets in preparation for our assault. Under the wolf's command, we shall be victorious. Why do you need a mercenary to do that? You seem to have plenty of soldiers at your disposal. It's not a question of manpower. The Megarians are our allies. We do not want to commit troops until we know victory is assured. My scouts are already locating key targets that we can hit. Ready to serve. Together, we will ensure that Sparta is victorious. You're a different kind of Mystheus, aren't you? You're just what we need to help deal with that meddling Athenian mercenary. If we can draw the leader out and eliminate him, we will crush the Athenians on the battlefield and drive their forces all the way back to Athens, destroying their supplies, stealing their war chest, and killing their elite troops should leave him vulnerable. Take this and present it to my scouts. If you find them in the field, be sure to check for new information. They might also have need 
of your skills. Where is the Athenian leader? He is in Megara, hiding behind stone walls and a full garrison of troops. But if you kill his troops, destroy his supplies, and steal his riches, then he'll be open to attack. What supplies should I destroy? Anything the Athenians need. Look for crates of supplies and weapons. The port of Nicaea in the valley of King Lelech would be a good place to start. It's where their supplies come into the region. This chest you want me to steal, why is it so important? An army is made of men that need pain. Take away the Drachmi, and they lose all the will to die for other men's ambitions. The Athenians keep their treasure well guarded in the fort at the foot of Mount Yerania. I think I know what must be done. Remember, every Athenian soldier you eliminate will also help us achieve victory. And once I've brought the Athenians to their knees for Sparta, I'll get that meeting with Nicolaus. Or you'll be next. Send those Athenian dogs to Hades, Mistios. Do this, and the wolf will personally see to it that you are rewarded. If I want to get close to the wolf, I'll have to help Stentor defeat the Athenians. I shouldn't waste any time. That's what I'm looking for. Fort Hierania is formidable. This must be where the Athenians keep their war chest. I should use Icaros to find what I need. Get the treasure and leave quietly. The Athenian soldiers won't be so eager to fight when they don't get paid. Stay 
stay alert. I'm writing the signal for help! I won't let them get away with this. Come on, come on. Oh, 
The capital, Megara. If the leader's anywhere, he'll be here. Some drag me. Athena to Lesti. Athenian leader is dead. I should return to Stentor. 